the first involvement was attending uh, Alain's course. And this is where I decided at the end of that first course to send all my management team. And one of the reasons is that you will find good managers, people that, that are used to manage operations, manage finance, uh, manage human resources, and tactically speaking, are alert, uh, you know, are really skilled at what they do. When it's time you want to bring them in a strategic discussion, it's very difficult. People tend to mix between what's tactical and operation and what's strategy. And for me, um, Alain's competencies and the tool that Alain's providing was helping my management team to learn to do strategy and speak strategy. And then after that, I'm able to, when I sit down with them and we're starting a, a thinking about uh, the midterm, the long term, the repositioning, our challenge, our level of discussion is changing. The approach we're taking is changing. And this is one of the involvement uh, that uh, I had first involvement with Alain. And, and like I said, the idea was to bring my management team. And each time I would take a new assignment, I would change management team, I would bring them up and uh, send them. So we could then, after that, work at the same level. I was a geologist before, so I went to my BSc at McGill University. One thing geology is giving you is to be able to take a lot of complex data, what the geologists do, model it in a way that you hope will be able to find oil and gas so you have the right model. But it's conceptualizing a model to drill to find oil and gas. And then it means computing a lot of different scientific data. Well, that's what you get doesn't give you strategy, but it gives you finding the right model, being able to conceptualize the right model. You do that in business too. You read your internal environment, external environment, context, culture, all that complex stuff you read. You need then to build a model for the future. And if you get the model right, then you, you're successful. That's not strategy. And, and one element is that uh, really, then I went into did my MBA in IT thinking that I would gain the strategy uh, thinking method approach process and all of that well not quite you do learn like in the book how to define a strategy etc but um, this is not something I've used in fact um, it's the MBA gave me a, a broader uh, learning reading capacity but again did not equip to, uh, to go uh, uh, with a strategy per se, okay? It's through the learning and the, the working with Alain and going to the class that I was, I was given a tool, a set of tool and an approach. I'll give you an example. In the day-to-day -day or in the, the, the high pace, high velocity of business today, you do a lot of tactics, adjust your operations and priorities and all of that. If you have time, you do a bit of strategy. Um, but really, you will validate if you have the right strategy. So what you do is you get your management team, you look at the future, do some learning and reading about environment, trends, competitors, and all of that, but you get into action rapidly. And you say, ha-ha, we'll do this and this and this. And then you move into execution. Rarely will you say, but is, that, is the strategy valid? How do we validate that strategy? This is an example of, of a, an approach built in what Alain uh, is, is giving us, which for me is important okay, in strategy making, that you, not, you, you don't do it. You just go and, oh, that strategy, let's go. Okay, that's just a small example. Okay? I'll give you another one, the stakeholder analysis, or factional analysis, as I'll call it. It's not something we're used to do. 
we'll read about the competitors, we'll read about what's uh, happening with financial situation in our company, uh, we'll look at future from the existing. Will we take the time to really map out who are the key stakeholders? Which faction will react how to where we want to go? And what does that mean from positioning our strategy, selling and executing? That's an example of a second tool that uh, is really ground into the, 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 the uh, consulting, the know-how, the competencies, and the training that Alain is offering. Needless to say, that's not something you learn through an MBA. Okay? It goes much further than that. Funny enough, when you look at all the, the, uh, the business journal today, even the last McKinsey one I was looking at or um, the one Havard, are returning and saying, be aware of your guts feeling and strategy on the fly and saying you need to get back in grounding your strategy making because there's a lot of behavioral bias that you have to deal with. You're not conscious of that that will lead you to take a lot of bad decision. And I was amazed in the last journal, the last article on that, the percentage of bad decision executives take because of an approach that is more or less rigorous and is open to behavioral uh, uh, issues that you're not conscious of. My bet and my experience with an engineering-based approach is that it forces you really to take a step-by-step -step and rigorous. And you should avoid some of the bias that you encounter in the way you make strategy and execute on that. Mm -hmm.